Today, we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, what? Sorry, Rolly. <laughs> the car drives in here. The mainframe moves over the car. The brushes spin around to give it a wash, and then beep, beep. <gasps> oh. Sorry, I missed a spot. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Rolly's still rolling. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Yay! Yay! Now, Lofty, our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Now that's what I call a proper car wash. Curtis, would you start it for us? I'd be honored to, Bob. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. Everybody wait! I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. <laughs> Why, Rolly? There might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Tell you what, Rolly, why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely, and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Green is for go. Uh-oh, I can see some loose tarmac. I'll just roll them flat. <gasps> Rolly, watch out, stop! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, whoa! Don't worry, Rolly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? It's my fault. I didn't listen. Leo said not to enter when it was running, but I was too busy rolling. Let's get Rolly out of that mainframe first. Slowly, Rolly. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. Okay, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Well, that looks a lot better. But will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. Hooray! As good as new. May Moon has a very special task for us today. I need my launch pad finished. What are you launching? A rocket! Spring City is entering the space age. May here is going to attempt to break the record for launching the smallest rocket into space. A real space rocket? Can we see? Can we see? She's called Stella. Ooh, I can't wait. Careful! Stella is a very sensitive piece of hardware. Okay, guys. First, we need to dig a big pit just here for Stella's exhaust to blast into. Got that, everyone? Oh. Uh, Lofty, you'll have the most important job, lifting Stella into position. Okay, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Can I lift Stella onto the launch pad yet? Soon, Lofty. You can put Stella in place once the concrete is set. You just need to be patient. I'll be patient. There. All done. <gasps> they finished. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Steady. <laughs> Wait, Lofty. <laughs> what? Whoa! Careful, Lofty! You're going to rip the parachute! Stella! My dream is covered in wet concrete! We'll get Stella flying, somehow or other. Really? Can you really? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Gently! She won't fly like that. Perhaps. Yes, Lofty? We could clean Stella using the machine wash back at the yard. That's a great idea.
We still have a problem. The parachute is torn. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Are we ready to launch? Yes! Four, three, two, one! Yeah! We did it! Great idea to use the banner to patch the parachute, Lofty. So, where is Stella now? There! Yeah! Could you build that new shower block next door to these bedrooms, please, Bob? No problem. I've already drawn up some plans. This looks amazing, Bob. Okay, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Here we are, then. Off with you, Spring City Rockets. Hi, Brandon. How's my favorite nephew? We can't wait for tonight. Uncle Phil said we could camp out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'd forgotten I'm taking your Auntie Val out for dinner, Brandon. You'll have to do it another time, when I'm here. Aww. What if I looked after them? Please, Uncle Phil. OK. <laughs> I'd love to try camping. Sleep in the girls' tent with us tonight, then, Dizzy. Let's make sure there are no insects in the tent this time, Mila. Insects? Hmm. I don't really like creepy crawlies. Last time, Safi found an earthworm in her sleeping bag. Maybe I'll camp with you another time. I wish I was camping with the others. But I really don't like creepy crawlies. But maybe they've got them all out of the tent by now. Dizzy, it's too late now. What if we both go now? Hey, you're not going without me. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. Oh. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you. <gasps> Everyone get into Betsy! Help! Wait for me! We're going home! Where is Dizzy? I thought she was behind you! We have to go back and look for her! Not on our own, it's too scary! We'll have to wake Bob up. We didn't realize you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you okay, Dizzy? I'm fine. Huh? <gasps> How did all that happen? That might have been us, Bob. I think we're all gonna have to come back very early tomorrow. Sorry, sorry Bob. We're really sorry about the mess, Mr. Lucas. We'll put everything right. You'll see. This looks amazing, Bob! Thank you all for finishing on time! Sky wants us to build a 100-yard zip line all the way down this slope. What will the zip line look like, Bob? We'll build a platform up here and run the cable down to the bottom of the slope, where we'll build a break. You all right, Leo? Yeah, fine. Really, thanks, Lofty. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Leo, can you take charge and finish the platform for me? OK. Thanks. You're very quiet, Leo. What's up? I'm just not sure I'm very good at being a builder, Lofty. You're the best apprentice ever. I guess. Bob, do you think Leo is OK? He seems a bit down. I wonder what's bothering him. <clears throat> Oh! What did I do wrong this time? Oh, I didn't use enough bolts. I'm really not cut out to be a builder. Where are 
are you going? I think I should give up, Lofty. Building isn't for me. <sighs> you take a break. We'll sort this out in no time. <sighs> Don't leave us. Uh-oh. I'll just push it up right again. Easy. Too far, too far. <sighs> What's going on? <gasps> what happened to the platform? We were just trying to fix things because Leo wants to leave the team. Where is he? Leo? What's up? I took my college test yesterday. And I think I failed. I'm no good as a builder. Tests aren't everything, Leo. You need to study and practice to be a good builder. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and... Oh. Sky, there's been a tiny setback, but... Uh... <gasps> We're thinking of making the zip line longer and more thrilling. We could attach the line to this tree. It looks strong enough. That sounds fantastic! Absolutely brilliant, Team Bob! Oh no, it's my college tutor. Answer it, Leo. Uh, hello? Leo here. Really? Thanks! Bye! I passed! With high grades! Awesome! That's super! Well done, Leo! You've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash. We still have one thing left, the Double Dragon Water Slide. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail, then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best! Hi, guys! <laughs> Don't mind us. It's my birthday, and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning! Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work. Yay! Let's see who's doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh! See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Perfect. Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Oh, the dragon slides! I can't see anything from here. Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you coming? Yes. Okay, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. Hmm, let me check the plans again. Hmm, why don't we just start? Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, I'm sure it is. Uh, okay. It's in place and straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished! Huh? Now the slide sections are here, I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Bob, Lofty, wait! The beams are going to collapse! Leo, get down, quick! What happened? It's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but... They are just as important. But what are we going to do? I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Space Robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace! Right behind you! You two look like you're having fun. We're playing Space Robots in hyperspace. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? <laughs> okay, but remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Bob! I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. Okay. Huh? <gasps> 
What? What? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day. Morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and early. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame, and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. So let's get going. Last one, there's a wheelbarrow. I already feel like a wheelbarrow. Permission to rest for a bit? Ah, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, we'll be full of energy later. So these are the observation pods and the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. Don't we need Leo and Muck if we're gonna get the job done before the Spring City Rockets get here? Let's press on anyway. One Spring City wheel coming up. Steady as she goes. Still no sign of Leo and Muck? No. I'll try calling them again. <clears throat> uh, hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well... You're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Yay! Woo yeah! <laughs> well, Space Captain Leo, are you going to take a turn on the wheel? Hmm. Tonight is the Spring City Halloween Festival. That means we only have a day to build everything. So, listen up, team. Over here, we'll build a barbecue where guests can get their food. At the back, we'll build a trick or treat trail. Behind you, we're gonna build an entrance shaped like a pumpkin. And finally... <sighs> and finally what? Floating above the party, there'll be a giant ghost decoration. Oh. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh. Ah, Lofty, there you are. I need you to collect the ghost decoration from Curtis. Are you sure it has to be me? Your crane is perfect for holding it. Well, uh, yes. Okay. The ghost is all ready to self-inflate. You pull a cord first, then it fills with air. So be careful not to knock the crate. Why? Sudden movement will trigger the cord. So the ghost could fill with air when you don't want it to. Here it goes. I'm scared already. Let's get this ghost delivered and quick. <laughs> Who's there? I'm not scared, I'm not scared, I'm not scared! This entrance is gonna be cool! Lofty. I'm really sorry, Bob. I shouldn't have dropped the ghost like that, only I was scared. I've attached new wires so the ghost can stay here until we're ready for it. We'd better get fixing. Well, we're all finished. <laughs> huh. oh, oh. 
Oh, ah, guys, hold on. There's a ghost. <laughs> we tricked Bob. Uh -huh. Right. I better stop because I just scared myself. So, what's the job, Bob? We're here to help Mayor Madison with her Spring City Heroes plan. Every year, somebody new will be chosen to be a Spring City hero. Wow! Each person who's chosen will get their own golden star with a picture of themselves inside it. Ooh! I wonder who she's going to choose. Uh, I wonder who I'm going to choose. Someone with a mustache? Oh, I'm just not sure. It's so hard to choose. Okay, everyone, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. This looks interesting. What is it, Bob? Mayor Madison is going to choose a Spring City hero, and their face will be inside that golden star for everyone to see. Wow! Yeah. So who's it gonna be then? I know who it should be. Betsy! Me? But, but I'm just a boss. If a machine can be a Spring City hero, maybe it should be me. You, Scoop. Yes, me. Mayor Madison should be here any minute to see if everything's ready. That's great! My chance to show her why I should be the first Spring City hero. Mayor Madison, on behalf of the Spring City Rockets, we'd like to nominate Betsy as the first Spring City hero. Oh, thank you, Mila. Thanks to all of you, I'll add Betsy to the list. Hmm. Bob, would you like to add to the list? Mayor Madison! <laughs> Mayor Madison! Uh. Look at me! Look at all the things I can do! Watch out! We just laid those! You cut through a power cable! Oh, Bob, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, Mayor Madison. This is terrible! No need to panic, Mayor. I'm sure I can sort this out in time. Wendy? There's a lot of damage. It won't be ready until this time tomorrow. If we want any lights and sound, we'll have to use the emergency generators. Okay, everyone, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Testing, one, two. And now, to reveal who will be on our first golden star. <clears throat> Thank you. Bob the Fielder. Huh? Huh? Yay! Yay! Thank you, Mayor Madison. Thank you, everybody! Yay! 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 Oh, Chef Tatty's Play Cafe is going to be a huge success. I certainly hope so, Wendy. It will be all finished in time for my party, won't it, Bob? Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! It all looks splendid. Will there be music at the party tomorrow? I'll put on a CD for everyone to dance to. You need a proper DJ. What's a DJ, Wendy? Someone who's in charge of the music. And the really good DJs create mashups. Like mashed potatoes? A mashup is when you mix two songs together. Like this. Sing a bit of your favorite song, Chef. Oh, okay. Um, Oh, I make the best spaghetti! Here's a recording I made of Wendy and my dad rehearsing their band last night. My phone can mix together chef singing and Wendy's playing to make this mashup. Oh, I make the best spaghetti! Oh, that's amazing! Could you make some mashups just like that for the party, Leo? Yes, I'd love to. You're on. Fantastic. But we need to get back to work. The party's tomorrow, and I don't have much time to make all those mashups for Chef Taddy. Why don't you leave that till later? What if I tried? Have you finished Chef's color samples, Leo? Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Four colors for Chef to choose from. 
Okay. <gasps> Whoa! How on earth did you do that? I had this great idea for a mashup. I must have stepped in paint without realizing. I know you're excited about doing the music for the party, Leo, but there's still work to do. Sorry, Bob. <gasps> what is that? I thought it looked like dancing footprints. I love it. You're a genius, Leo. I want more footprints everywhere. <laughs> Wendy and your dad are amazing! Oh, thank you, Muck! You've given me a brilliant idea! Will you be our lead singer, Chef? Hey, I've always wanted to be a rock star! Oh, I make the best spaghetti! Wow! Lightning is brilliant, isn't it, Lofty? Um... But these autumn storms can be strong, wet, and windy, Scoop. So it's probably best to stay inside where it's cozy. That's right. In you go, Scoop. Oh. <sighs> that storm really made a mess. It's the Coast Guard. Hello? Hi, Bob. What would the Coast Guard want from Bob? The Fixum Lighthouse was struck by lightning during the storm. The lamp is broken and needs repairing. Oh, no! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! The lamp, lantern, casing and fuses need replacing. And the wiring has burnt out, too. What does that mean? We'll also have to lay a new power cable all the way from Fixum, which means digging up the old one. This is the best job ever! Okay, that's the new cable connected to the lighthouse. Great, so now you can start filling in the trench, Scoop. Oh, yes! Oh, too cool! If I finish this quickly, I can watch the lightning. Uh -oh. Everything's fine here. There must be a problem on shore. The tide's in now, we're cut off. But I have to get back, Bob. It's the only way to get the lighthouse working before the storm arrives. Leo? Bob? Someone will have to get us by boat. Dad! Dad! Leo? Can you rescue Bob and Wendy? They're stranded in the lighthouse. I haven't fixed the boat yet, Leo. And now the electricity's gone down so I can't see properly. My lights are bright. That's brilliant! Ah, good job, team. Now, let's head home. Yeah, to stay inside. That is perfect, Scoop. What's that on the roof, Bob? It's called a solar panel, Lofty. It turns sunlight into electricity. We must think ahead and build more renewable energy for all of Spring City. What's that? Renewable energy, Muck. It's electricity made from things that won't run out, like sunlight. Oh! And our job at the Sea Life Center is to install another type of renewable energy. They're wind turbines. They make electricity from the power of the wind. Amazing! I'm looking forward to turning them on, Bob. Then we better get going. How's it going, Wendy? Everything's on schedule for the mayor to make the big switch over this evening. Great! Okay, team, can we build them? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Bob, we 
we must talk about the mayor's other renewable energy plan, thinking ahead. That's the motto. It's just that... Yes, I don't just want to tell you the mayor's plans, Bob. I want to show you. Okay. You're in charge, Scoop. No problem, Bob. Hmm. I wonder... What is it, Scoop? What if we move the foundations closer together? Oh, I'm not sure you want to do that. That's not what Bob said. But we could get ten spinny turbines into the same space. Oh. And remember... Mr. Bentley said we should think ahead. Wendy's nearly finished connecting the... Are those foundations closer together? Yes, it's like Mr. Bentley said. We're thinking ahead. Oh. Okay, Lofty. Steady. Perfect. Bob, look. We've been thinking ahead. Hang on a second. They're too close together! <gasps> oh no! I broke the spinny things! Scoop! Oh, Bob! I wanted to make room for more spinny turbines in the future, so I got Lofty to move the foundations closer together. I'm so sorry, Bob. All right. We need a new plan, Bob. If only we could use sun power instead of just spinny wind power. Brilliant! That gives me an idea. Come on, team. Powering up? Yay, the spinning things are spinning! Look at the shiny solar panels. Wonderful. Ready to go, Bob. Sorry I'm late, Bob. I overslept. He was up late playing a game on his phone. Look, I've got the highest score. Great. Hop on to two done and let's go. Oh, it looks like the Spring City Rockets are practicing their street dance show. That was amazing. Ah, uh, thanks, Bob. Where are you all going? Spring City News TV station. Spring City News is coming to film us later. Yeah, we're going to be on the 6 o'clock news. Well, we'd better get to work then. Bye. Bye. What important equipment are we installing, Bob? Well, Leo, here, we're going to put a big spinning Spring City TV news sign. And up there, we're going to put a giant satellite dish. Wendy and I'll install the sign and the satellite dish. Leo and Lofty, you two work on all the lifting. Fantastic! Oh, no! I'm not the highest scorer at Furious Fish anymore. You'll have plenty of time to get back on top at the end of the day. So... Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Here we go! Awesome! Wow. Bob and I are going on the roof now, Leo. Can you and Lofty get ready to lift the satellite dish, please? right now. We'll call you when we put the support post in place. Did you hear what Bob said? I'll just finish this game. Okay, team, ready for the dish. Uh, Leo, Bob is calling us. Hmm. Hello, Leo? Here, Bob, we're gonna start lifting the dish. Thanks, Leo. Hoist up a little, Lofty. Look out, Leo! Yeah. Look out! Why did you let go of the dish, Lofty? Uh, it wasn't Lofty's fault. I didn't tie the dish on properly because I was too busy playing Furious Fish. What if I used my real fishing skills to get it back? That's a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I'm so glad the Spring City Rockets got to appear on the news. Morning, all. There's been a big competition to design the new Spring City clock. The winners are Mila, JJ, Brandon, and Safi. The, the Spring, Spring City, City Rockets. Rockets! Yes, and this 
is their design. The prize is that we are going to fill their clock today. I've just been putting together these metal figures. Can we see them? Not yet, Scoop. They're to be a surprise. Morning. Morning, Morning Leo. Leo. Aha, the clock. Can I help build it? First of all, I need you and Muck to take all our recycling to the center. No problem. Bob, call me when you're ready for the clock and the frame. OK. I'd better get back to work. Come on, Muck. The sooner we get the recycling done, the sooner I can help build that clock tower to the recycling center. Right. Everything's ready and good to go. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, everyone. I'll tell Wendy we're ready for her. Let's go! Should we load everything now, Wendy? Yep, I'm almost finished. <sighs> oh, don't forget the cardboard box. Cardboard box? Ah, that must be it. <sighs> right, I'm ready. Okay. <sighs> now, Rocket. I've got a surprise for you. Huh? Oh, no! Well, that's not much of a surprise. Where did you put the box from the garage? The one with the metal figures inside? Oh, no! We took it to the recycling center. I'll just have to go to the recycling center and find the box. I'm coming, too. <sighs> we must have looked in every box. I better call Bob and tell him we can't find anything. Mm. Oh, no. I've left my mobile at the yard. Oh, I remember putting it on top of the box with the figures in. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. <gasps> huh? Found it. Yes. We found the box. Yeah! Yeah! Let's get going, everyone. It's four o'clock. Wow! They look just like us! Morning, all. Hope you're ready for action. Here she is, the designer of this marvelous elephant. And Sally, That's so look so lovely. Aw, thank you. Now, Safi, your elephant statue is going to be a water fountain. It'll stand right outside the shopping mall. Wow! Now, team, let's get going. Can you build it? Yes, we can! Safi, your elephant looks awesome. Time to go, guys. Come on, I'll walk you to Betsy. See you at the mall. <laughs> oh, I better back up and try again. Want to see Safi's elephant? Uh. <gasps> oh no! I've ruined the elephant! Maybe I should say, Bob, the elephant's had a bit of an accident. <gasps> Betsy, can you make an extra stop? I need batteries for my camera. He can't take pictures of a ruined elephant! <laughs> oh no! Maybe it's better if no one sees what I've done. No one will see the elephant here. Hello, <laughs> Muck. Oh, hello. Wow, nice elephant. Did you know that its paint is scratched? It was an accident. I was going to tell Bob, but then I thought... Uh, <laughs> Muck, Bob here. You need to bring the elephant to the mall, over. Oh, now what do I do? Don't panic, Muck. Just tell Bob. He'll understand if it was just an accident. But I'll feel terrible if I own up. More terrible than now? Oh, no, you're right. Huh? Careful now! Betsy, but I can't let Safi see her elephant like this. Is that Mom? Yes. Slow down, Mark! Oh, I'm not stopping! Yeah! Oh. Oh. oh no! Look at my elephant! Oh, I 
I should have owned up right away. Oh, Safi, don't worry. I'm sure we can fix this. Let's get going. I'm really proud of my team. <laughs> what are we building again? It's a motocross course. A race for motorbikes over lots of obstacles that we're going to make with sand here on the beach, Muck. Oh, wow. I'd love to join in. Me too. It's just for motorbikes. Oh. I almost wish I'd entered the race myself. Oh, you can still apply. Maybe I will. But we need to get this course built or there won't be a race. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Well done, everyone. Oh, I really wish I could be in the race. Me too. So I've decided to enter. Yay! Oh, go, Bob! Good thing you've kept her in such good shape, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you're racing tomorrow, Bob. That's right. We've got a mystery entrant called the Masked Biker. I wonder who it is. Oh, hi, Bob. How's your bike looking? Great. I'm really looking forward to racing, especially against the Masked Biker. Then why is he wearing a mask? He must be hiding his face because he doesn't want anyone to know who he is. Hello, Curtis. Is Bob's bike ready? Nearly. And I've got some transfers to make it look really special. Definitely this one. That one's Leo's favorite, too. We can't be in the bike race tomorrow, but we could have a little machine race now. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, dear. Oh, Mark Scoop, what have you done? We're so sorry. We only wanted to have a race like you. I don't think there's time to put this right. Then we'll work all night. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Welcome to Fixum Beach Motocross Race. On your marks, get set, go! skill from the masked biker who takes first place. Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, well done. And I'm sure I'm not the only one desperate to know the identity of our winner. <laughs> Hi, Bob. <gasps> it's Wendy. Yeah! Yeah! Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! Morning, guys. My new masterpiece, A Pocket Full of Pirates, premieres here at the Fixum Hilltop Theatre tonight. We're here to update this old theatre for your fearsome pirates. Arr! Dizzy, we need to use the quick-drying cement in the green bag so that it sets in time for the play rehearsal. That means we won't use the slow-drying cement in the red bags today. Green, not red. Got Ready, team? Aye, 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 aye Captain! Captain. Okay. Mr. Bentley, you're cleared for rehearsals. Oh, good. Actors on stage now, please. Are you and Leo okay to pave this path on your own, Dizzy? Absolutely, Bob. Great. Quick dry cement on this path as well, please. Oh, I forgot the most important prop, my treasure chest. Now I have to go home and get it. You'll need someone to be in charge of rehearsals while you're gone. I suppose I will. Leave it to me, Mr. B. All the swords and costumes are in the red box. Got it? Not the green one. Red, not green. Got that. Where are you off to? We need to start paving the path. Which cement mix did Bob say to use? Green, not red. Red, not green. The red one! Hers. <laughs> Flipper me, Jimber! Huh? No, that's not right. <gasps> My cast needs me! All done, Leo! Uh, thanks, Dizzy. Pleasure, treasure! Ciao! Hiya! Now let's take you from the top, everyone! Dizzy! 
Where's my evil pirate hat and sword? Uh, green, not red. In the green box! Back in a minute, pirate crew! Here comes the pirate we all fear! <laughs> Stop! The costumes are in the red box! Whoa! Whoopsie! Is everyone okay? Yep! yep. Absolutely! Hi ho! I'm back! Huh? Those are slow drying cement bags! Whoa! 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 Oh no! Oh. I'm so sorry! I was distracted by the plane and told Leo to use the red cement! The show's over before a single pirate has walked the plank! That's it! We'll build a wooden path over the wet cement with the spare planks! Right, mateys! Can we fix it? Aye, aye, Captain! Yar! <laughs> All done! We're going to build a beach today, team. And this is the perfect place to put it. A beach? Here? It'll just be like any other beach. Not just like any other beach. Our city beach has got to be a blue ribbon beach. No rubbish anywhere. Ooh. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. We always leave everything clean and safe once we're finished. That's good, Bob, because when the inspector comes, it has to be the cleanest, tidiest beach ever. One Blue Ribbon City Beach coming up. Bob, Wendy, careful with those paint cans. We can't have paint spilling all over the place. <gasps> oh, my wheelie bin! Oh dear. We'll never get clean and tidy at this rate, Muck. <laughs> the blue ribbon inspector could arrive at any time for the inspection. Really? Oh yes, the mystery inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. So keep alert. <gasps> uh, the inspector! The inspector calls! Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, Mark, what are you doing? The inspector. I think the only thing he's inspecting is the bird light. I panicked, didn't I? I think you did. Will we be able to finish the beach in time for the inspection, Bob? Yes, if we work steadily and don't panic. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, Muck. That's the last of the garbage for the bin. Off you go. Oh, dear me. Look out. Huh? The blue ribbon inspector's coming. Huh? Litter. I'll get it. No, Muck, leave it. Huh? Oh. Here is our pride and joy, the brand new. Oh. Gotta pick up the garbage. How? Uh, I know. Mila, JJ, Brandon, quick! Sure, Muck. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. We won't get the blue ribbon now. There's still a lovely beach we've built. We may as well enjoy it. What? We got a blue ribbon after all? The inspector said she's seen such efforts to keep a beach clean and tidy. Well done, Team Bob. Some parts of Fixum Castle have stood here for hundreds of years. And this is exactly where we're working today. There was a magnificent archway here. Our job is to rebuild it. We've got to clear both sides of the wall. So, let's get clearing! Here it is. Oh, what's that noise? It's coming from the statue. Hello, hello Mr. Mr. Bentley. Bentley. Oh, hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Mr. Bentley? I'm looking for buried treasure. Buried treasure? Yes. What I'm looking for is the silver shield of Fixum. What's that? Sir Roger de Fixum was the kindest and bravest knight in all the land. 
Ooh. The king had this statue made of him and holding a silver shield. Wow. One day, Sir Roger heard that an enemy was planning to steal it. So, one night, he buried the silver shield somewhere here at the castle. Right, I shouldn't hold you up. Back to work. Yes, back to work, team. It's time to open up the archway. <laughs> now I've finished clearing up, I can look for buried treasure. So where would someone hide a silver shield? So Roger is charging towards the castle wall. So maybe that's where the shield is. Oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, Scoop, you can help clear the stones now. <gasps> hey, Scoop, what are you doing? I'm looking for buried treasure. Scoop, don't move. We've got an emergency. But what's happened? The wall is starting to fall over. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. One rescue party to the rescue. Dizzy, get mixing as much concrete as you can, please. Absolutely, Bob. We've got to prop up that castle wall. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Well done, everyone. Ooh, lovely job, Bob. Sir Roger can charge straight through the archway now. I don't think he's charging, is he, Mr. Bentley? It looks to me like he's pointing. But pointing at what? Well, there's one way to find out. <gasps> oh! oh. <gasps> the silver shield once again, people will flock to see the Silver Shield of Fixum. Okay, gang, we're splitting into teams. Mm. Leo, Rowan, huh? and Dizzy, you're coming with me. <laughs> hey. Oh, what's going on, Bob? There's an ice cream stand to be built for Chef Taddy on the beach. But I think you should have the day off and stay here, Scoop. Tiredness can lead to accidents. You've got your walkie-talkie on, so you can reach me if you really need to. Okay. Will you be able to get it built by this afternoon? What do you think, team? Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! I wish I was at the beach with everyone else. <gasps> Scoop to Bob. Bob here. Over. Hi, Bob. We've got a dripping hose. I'm just worried that the whole yard might get flooded. I'll head straight back. Maybe that wasn't quite an emergency, Scoop. Well, it was pretty drippy. Try to get some rest, Scoop. OK, Bob. That flickering bulb is the most exciting thing I've seen all day. Scoop to Bob. Huh? I noticed a bulb flickering. Oh, well, don't worry about that. I just hope I'm not mistaken and it's actually an emergency. Like a fire. Muck and I'll be there as quick as we can. So it wasn't a fire, Bob? No, Scoop. A flickering light bulb isn't a fire. I think you might have exaggerated again. Oh. Just try to rest. Bob's right. I should just try to get some rest. Is that smell? Yikes! A real emergency! Nearly there, Chef Taddy. Oh. Bob, it's Scoop! It's an emergency! A fire in the yard! Look, Scoop, you need to get rest. Bob, Bob! Over and out. I'll have to take the fire to Bob. He'll know how to put it out. Uh. Fire! <gasps> fire! Bob, <gasps> out of the way! Oh! Get back, everyone! But I must put the fire out! Well done for putting the fire out, Scoop. I should have listened to you when you said it was an emergency. Yeah, but I should never have exaggerated so much. So you can fix this? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Made it to the beach in the end, Scoop. Yes, but what a day. 
Spring City Rockets. Mayor Madison asked me to build you a proper skate park so you can film your skateboarding video in style. Yay! Can we have a jump, please? And a tunnel? And a skateboard? Um, okay. Can you skateboard, Leo? Um, yeah, of course. I'm wicked at it. Oh, yeah. cool. It says in the rules that we need to have five in our team. Oh, I'll do it. I'm brilliant on four wheels. Look. <laughs> cool. Wow. Pick Leo. He's even better. Is that true? Uh. Why don't you both have a skate off in the new park to decide who we choose? But now we've got a skate park to make. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Take a break, everyone. Great! Time to practice my wheelie tricks. Whee! Can we watch you practice, Leo? Um, yeah. Where's your skateboard? Oh, I'll, uh, just go get it. Well, let's see how fast you can go, Leo. <sighs> Here goes. Whoa! Uh. Oh. Whoa. Leo! 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 Uh oh! Uh, 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 Are you okay, Leo? Yes. How about a few skateboarding tips from Wendy, three times Spring City champion? Come on, let's get you standing up. Knees bent, arms out for balance. Uh, oh, oh, yes! The skate park is finished. Ready, Leo? Let's rumble. Woohoo! <laughs> Nailed it. Watch this. Oh no! How do I stop? Watch out! Oh. Watch it! Oh. oh no! Oh no! It's ruined! I shouldn't have gone into the bowl on my first day of skating. I think I know what we can do with that fresh load of cement. So sweet! A work of art. It's time to vote for the winner, Leo or me. Dizzy, you should be in the video. I'm so excited about the sand sculpture competition today. Have you brought the sand? It's on Two Ton's low loader. Ah, here he is now. But why do we need sand, Bob? There's loads here. Sculptures made from building sand last longer. Oh, okay. We'd better get the beach set up or there won't be a competition. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Hmm. Do you have an official weather forecaster for the event, Bob? I'd be happy to Ooh, do... Could I do that, Bob? I've got a new weather app on my phone. According to this, the forecast for Spring City is excellent. Great, but make sure you keep checking in case it changes, Leo. Welcome, everyone, to the Sand Sculpture Competition. Let the sculpting begin! Yeah! <laughs> it looks like fun. Doesn't it, Wendy? We've got an extra sand mold and plenty of sand. Yeah! What's the weather forecast, Leo? Still sunny, Mr. B. Oh? Hmm. 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 Have you checked the weather lately? It's looking very stormy up there. Just a few minutes ago. Here, look. <gasps> Leo, you've been checking Spring City in the Bahamas! <gasps> this is our Spring City forecast! Oh no! Bob, I've been checking the wrong weather forecast! There's a massive storm on the way right now! But what about the sculptures? I've got a tarpaulin we could cover them with. Quick, team! We've got sand sculptures to protect! Can we save them? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
right, let's have a look at these sand sculptures. How long have we got to finish off the sculptures? Just 10 minutes. <gasps> oh, that's splendid. Thanks. Fantastic. Ta-da! Oh. Never mind. It's the taking part that counts. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> it's time to announce our worthy winners, Leo and Curtis. Huh? Yeah! Well done! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, team. Morning, Bob. It's our last day of demolition, guys. Once this old factory's cleared, we can begin work on the new skyscraper. How are we gonna knock that down, Bob? We're going to blow it up. Yeah, with explosives. Kaboom! I really don't like it when things get too loud. But I love it! Big and loud! Kaboom! Oh. Can we demolish it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Okay, team, you work on the internal walls. Wendy and I will be demolishing the side entrance at the opposite end. Yeah, woohoo! Ah! <laughs> Lofty, what's all the whining for? I keep thinking about the chimney and the big explosion. And that's going to be mega loud, like kaboom! Oh, like that. <sighs> ah! Scoop, stop that. That wasn't even me! Toton made that noise! I think I'll go and work somewhere quieter. Maybe Bob and Wendy need some help. Bob? <laughs> I don't think my gaskets can take much more of this. This isn't like you, Lofty. Is something wrong? I suppose. I'm a bit nervous about blowing up the chimney. We'll let you know when it's happening. So don't let it worry you. Okay, Bob. Help! What happened? I was just having a joke with Lofty, but maybe I did one kaboom too many. You should never joke around on a demolition site. The chimney's been weakened on that side. If we blow it up now, it'll fall into the street. We're going to have to make sure it falls the right way. We'll start by patching up that hole. Got it, Bob. Got it, Bob. All together now. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, Scoop? That was really exciting! Scoop? Scoop! Where are you? Is it over yet? Didn't you see? No. Come on, Scoop, it's all right. The Big Bang's over. If you say so, Lofty. 